All right, good morning. It is Sunday, March 27th, and um, soon, about an hour, the shuttle will be here to take me back to Woody Gap. Um, we're gonna be going over Blood Mountain today, and um, it's gonna be cold. And let me pull this back up. So the highest temp on Blood Mountain, this morning it's gonna be 32, it'll get up to 36 in the afternoon, but with the wind gust of 45 and 35 miles per hour, it's gonna be feeling like it's 16, 21, or 27 degrees. So, whew, um, there's a website called, it's mountainforecast.com, and it you can type in the mountain that you're climbing or camping on and it'll give you the weather up there because it's going to be a lot different in the mountains than it is um, down in the city. So I'll try to show that on here. So it has Blood Mountain and then it breaks down. So here's Sunday and then there is like, look at those wind gusts. Thank goodness we ain't gonna be up there that quite yet. But this is what's gonna feel like with the wind. So it's gonna be a cold one today, but um, I've got lots of gear. And then of course when we camp, we're gonna be much lower. So I don't think it's gonna be as bad when we're camping tonight, but I have my new um, sleeping bag liner. Hopefully it does the trick and keeps me warmer. Um, if not, I'll be right at Nils Gap, or Nils Gap where, Nils Gap, we all wanna throw a nest in there. Uh, Mountain Crossings is there. It's another outfitter and I can pick up more stuff if I need it. So, all right, I am ready to be back on trail. Tri the town day's been great, but uh, I'm ready to get out there and do some more work and uh, see some more of this trail. All right, y'all have a great day. So I'm not really hungry, but I know that it's gonna be cold and I have a lot of climbing to do today. So I'm gonna get the calories in, some fruit, muffin and oatmeal. I do not even have oatmeal in my like food bag because I just refuse to like get burned out on oatmeal. So, and then some coffee to dehydrate me. All right, we are back at Woody Gap this morning and the wind is whipping. We are all, <laughs> all bundled up, but we are gonna get moving because it is freezing. So um, we'll show you the rest later. Good little climb this morning. I feel warm again. That's good. Look at this view, y'all. And guess who I found? Y'all are going to have story time tomorrow. And I talk about Dominic. So <laughs> this is Dominic, and he's being interviewed by um, Steve Adams from the Mighty Blue. So I've been yo-yoing him since I started the trail on the approach trail um, my first day. So just so you can see how cold it is, that's ice, y'all. That is ice. I love it when I'm hiking along the side of the mountains like this because you just. I get to look to the side and I see these views the whole time. Oh, this is a fun tree. Can you see it? Interesting. It's like a natural arch. You can get married under there or something, right? How cool. So I think this is the Lance Creek um, camping area. It is in the Blood Mountain Wilderness. So you have to have a hard-sided bear canister from March 1st to June 1st. Um, but let's just go check it out. It's not far off trail. Get a peek. 
Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm very envious of men today because I've had to pee forever and in the winter time it's hard to do that because, you know, there's no leaves anywhere. But yeah, this is a pretty cool campsite. Looks like they got some views down there at the end. We'll go down there and check it out. Um, filming on my phone, my GoPro died. I figured it would with the temperatures. Um, even though I had like the Enduro batteries, they tend to just die easily. So, yeah. Oh. Looks, oh, they got some bear cables down here. So that's nice. So you don't have to worry about doing a hang. All right, so I think I'm at the bottom of Blood Mountain. So I'm about to start doing my climb. I'm a little over three miles in, uh, one hour and 30 minutes, and I've already climbed 815 feet. So really I only have like 1200 left to go of uh, ascent and then a pretty gnarly descent down into Nail Gap where mountain crossing is gonna be. Um, so I'm probably gonna be done pretty quick today. I forget what these are called. It's so weird. I'm gonna just grow out on these trees. Somebody knows what that's called. Just make a comment down below. Hmm, look at those views. to pee. Just trekking back through the woods. So I had to go off trail. Hopefully I was off far enough, or at least by myself, right? Um, but lesson I learned. Make sure you know which way the wind's blowing. Luckily, I squatted correctly, and when this big gust of wind came through, it didn't blow my pee all over me. So that's a, another factor you have to think about. Which way is the wind blowing? Not only which way is the slope, so which way is the wind blowing? All right. All right, I think this is my first obstacle on the trail. Up and over we go. Okay, that was a little dramatic. That wasn't that bad. So I made it to Gerard Gap. Still part of the Blood Mountain Wilderness, so you have to um, have a hard set of canister here. Officially six miles in for the day, um, two hours, 55 minutes, and almost 2,000 feet in elevation. All right, I'm about 1.7 miles from Blood Mountain. Found me a nice little log to stop on. The wind's not as bad in this section, so that's why I stopped here. Um, I don't know if you can like see, like let's zoom into these trees. Look at that. It's whipping. So this will be a quick lunch. Let these legs rest a little bit and then a final push up to Blood Mountain. I'm not gonna take the blue blaze to it, but this is the junction for uh, Woods Hole Shelter. when I told, told y'all it was only going to be like 2,500 feet of elevation gain today. I was wrong. You probably knew that, but so did uh, our shuttle driver, I'm sure. But, oh well. <laughs> Speaking of shuttle drivers, uh, thank you, Brett, again, for getting us to and from trail. Um, also, not only will he get you to and from trail, he will help you chase your money through the parking lot. Yeah, we went to Payam and 
the rest of my money went flying. So we were chasing money all through the parking lot at Woody Gap. So thank you for helping me catch my money and getting us to and from trail. Um, he was a Sobo hiker in 2015, did it like in four months. Um, lives in the area, gets people all over to and from the trail. So greatly appreciative of the service that you provide. So thanks, man. It's always neat how the higher you get up, the vegetation changes. Up, up we go. <sighs> this is not a cool area to hike through. Kind of reminds me of like, I think it's Craggy Gardens. I think that's the name of it on the Blue Ridge Parkway. <sighs> yeah. Any, any, have you got a set down? Mountain Shelter. I'm gonna go ahead and go in here. This one's cool, looks like made out a lot of stone. It's got windows though, so I imagine it is cold in here. Windows with views though. Over there. Pretty cool. Time to climb up some rocks. I like it, sir. <laughs> Gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, this is the other side of Blood Mountain. Alright, coming down Blood Mountain. It's definitely not an easy feat. I don't think I would want to do that in the rain. And you Sobos, I feel for you because you guys have to come up this darn thing. Um, but the view, the views up there were beautiful. Um, I also ran into Steven who was doing Couch to Katahdin and Plod from Canada again. And that's kind of exciting. So I will hopefully get to camp with these, all of them tonight. Um, kind of have some community because I've kind of been missing that a little bit so far from my hike. So I'm looking forward to that. You were just wondering what the Appalachian Trail likes to do. It likes to make you go through rocks like this straight down the mountain. I'm pretty sure there was an easier way. But now this is the way we're going. Almost to the bottom of Blood Mountain, <sighs> which is trying to break me, but <sighs> so pretty, so pretty, pretty, beautiful, stunning, breathtaking. Let's see what other words are y'all gonna hear me say all the time. Yeah. for turned out to be a beautiful day so maybe this wind will chill down some but if not it's okay the sun is shining I have people to camp with tonight I mean about to get a pizza I mean, can't ask for much more huh they're cool
honey. Love me a good rock. It's just always so cool how they just like balance, right? <sighs> like literally those two connection points like right there and then right there. Back in the rhododendrons, rhododendrons, rhododendrons. I believe that's how you say it. <clears throat> I don't know. I love walking through these. I think they're cool. But then like when the bears come out more, that's when it gets like creepy because you hear something rustling around near you and you're like, is that a bear? I don't know. And you know, they can just jump out right on trail in front of you and you would never know. But I don't know. I still think it's cool. I like it. See you later, Blood Mountain Wilderness. And look what's over there. Pizza! Busy road coming up. But it's cool. I'm going to show you all some cool stuff here. Um, so Mountain Crossings is where a lot of people end up actually quitting. So between the Approach Trail, Sassafras, and Blood Mountain. Whoop. Nails Gap. Um, it has broken their souls. And they have decided that this is not for them. And so there's a cool tree over here that has everybody's shoes thrown up in it. Um, symbolizing that they have quit. And that that is not something that they want to be a part of their life. I mean, this isn't sketch at all. We're just gonna go for it quickly. What? All these broken souls. <laughs> uh, I mean, some of these mountains, I can see it. Oh, I can see it. And then after I get my pizza, I'll walk right through there. Now let's go see if we can find Bethany. She was at the REI in St. Louis and she now works here. So we're gonna go see if she's here today. Here we go. Walking through the Appalachian Trail. Literally goes right through the building. Looks like this is where everybody's camping tonight. I'm finally not camping alone. I'm kind of excited. Any of us get our food hung tonight? <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> <laughs> 